let's just talk about how how much I pwned the skeptical heretic instead. Pwned 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 the skeptical heretic instead. Really? Are you kidding me? Oh, skep. What a way to go out. No more direct communication. I can't. Uh, um, warning. Just because I said I pwned you, I had a few drinks. Going in Gary's uh, tiny chat room, which are just two things that happen non-coincidentally to co co happen, and uh, you're gonna be sensitive about that. And then <laughs> this, you're gonna say you don't do the holier than thou thing, just the well informed, more well informed than thou thing. And this whole video is a lecture on tisk tisk Piero. Um, well, did your fanboy send any of the context to that? Because the way I remember it is, there wouldn't be a lot of me gloating. It was me changing the subject. That's one of the things I do in there, is change the subject to something interesting, which our conversation is. And I still stand behind there isn't anything really such as poning, but people sort of mean, mean something by it. If there was such a thing as poning, it's something I did to you. Oh, no. Look, you call Skid Row Radio spooge. Where I come from, that means cum. Cum stain or something. I mentioned this to you in comments. I haven't had any other clarification. So I'm assuming that, you know, did I make up a name for you? Like, uh, Septical Hairy Dick or Septical Fairy Dick or even, uh, uh, you know, things like that. Um, no. And so your standard is you call Skid Row Radio a cum stain. It doesn't make sense to call it an ejaculate itself to me. It's a cum stain. That's an insult I'm familiar with. And so uh, what's the standard of your don't want to talk at a certain level? See, I like roasts, you know, roasts. I think roasts are fun, and some guy that calls other people cum stains while he's talking facts and reading thousand page laws must share that? Or does he just like roasting other people and roasting him? He doesn't get it. How to be roasted is the part that really hardens you and, and is empowering or something. What's what? I never said that Snowden and uh, Manning. Uh, that that I would I, I, that I was more that I was more holy than you were to support them. I said it's a difference of value, and I likened it to chocolate versus vanilla. And I still want to know what are the fla What's the flavor you prefer that makes you want to support the government in a thing like this? Which flavor is it? Because I'm have said pretty clearly, I don't like secret government flavored ideas and you've said you don't really like that I think and so what flavor is it that you like that leads you to uh, think it's detrimental to get this information out so and if you're gonna be butthurt about oh I, I pwned you the one sentence and if your fanboys are not gonna be circumspect enough to send you the context I mean come on you, you don't think you in that chemtrail dude video or a million others that you're not going woohoo I you're, you're demolished way more than me and I don't blame you for it you know I bring it up when you wanna act all like you're the victim but it's not like I ride on that. It's the subject matter. Isn't that of interest to you? The subject matter. Do you know, can you clearly state why you think Snowden should be caught and tried and put in prison, uh, assuming he's as guilty as he looks according to, to your perspective? Do you know why you think that rather than agree with me? If The reason I ask if we're if we both can be informed because then it makes it of interest well curious then how could two informed people disagree on this in my case I the root of it I think is that I just think uh, the that secret government is against the democratic value now there's reasons things I think are fact historical experiences that you could say are fact 
that prove that, but they don't prove it in all value systems. I mean, my basic value system is, you know, I think people should be as free as possible. I think secret government is contrary to freedom. Boom, there you go. So what is it with you? Because the thing is, is because you could have, well, I like the proper procedure thing, because then at least you do, some, you do something consistent, you find out how it results, you can change the procedure if you want. It's very, very reliable. And I understand that because that's how I think in my life. Is that it? Because the problem here for me is that if the government isn't following proper procedures, there's a call where it might be proper to go outside that system and tell the people that officially are at the top and all of these kinds of arguments. And if it's not like a total devotion that proper procedure is, is good, which I'll talk about what if that is the reason again, then what is it? But if it is that, because I believe that you should be consistent, the problem then is with the proper procedures right now is we find out the proper procedures fail, like in the Drake situation, which I asked you about, and we do nothing about it. They stay the same. If, if you want to stick with proper procedures, you have to learn from when they fail and fix them in response to that and make them more responsive. So... You don't think there's substance there because I said I pwned you? Well, I'm sorry I pwned you. I, I am, because I don't think pwning really amounts to much. It's not like my game. It's the game that people that call other people funny names like Cumstain and, and you know, Gary always makes up funny names. You guys play that game. I know how to play it because I'm a veteran of the of the, you know, philosophical battleground with the whole Flame War era before pwning was even a word. So, whatever. And I like a roast. When I run into somebody that calls somebody he's arguing with a cum stain, I figure, well, this guy has a thick skin, too. He expects others to have a thick skin. He probably does, giving you the benefit of the doubt. I find a, I really like this Gary-esque, snake pliskinist way of going through videos where you just go through it and you don't just take highlights either. You just go through the whole thing. Or at least the part that's to you. Or until you rage quit. Okay, so let's go. Ding, ding. What's going on? In these conversations that I've had with, well, recently with Piero and Skid Row Radio and Indifferent Sky back in Hate Club. And How can a guy that, that has done something called Hate Club, which I've read about, I don't know what it is. People say, oh, in Hate Club, this and that. Stizor. Stizor. It's been so long. Stizor. Whatever. Uh, hate club, hate club, I heard about that. How can that person blame me for one little sentence? Oh, it's not fair, it's not fair. I admit it, I admit it. I think I phoned the skeptical heritage. Sorry, so sorry. <laughs> but it's still true about the territory and what I really think that pwning means. I think, you know, it's like in this public conversation, the philosophical battlefield, we used to call it flame wars back in the day, we old people, I'm 45, you know. So, oh, it's so unfair. Oh, so unfair. What's happening? Ella and all these other loonies, especially Franks, you constantly hear the, the cry of ethics or the cry of morals. And then when you examine their argument, there isn't really much there. Piero had a little bit more there than most, but not much. Well, a little bit. It's pretty good. A little bit. I like little bits. I mean, engineering is made out of incremental improvement. Any little bit is still, you know, it's extant. It exists, so to speak. Um, however, there is one thing I thought was very interesting about Piero. What? Come on, just one one thing and it's the thing that bugged you. Oh, like I said, thing you have tonight. Unfair to Piero. And this explains why I probably won't be responding directly to him anymore. No, 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 no. You admitted in that one video you like pointing out holes in the facts of idiots. So all it means is that I am don't have enough you know, of that to keep you busy. My character flaws, while extant, to refer 
you know, just keep that word going. Uh, they can't be the reason. Just think about it. It's logic. Well, I guess maybe I should just show it to you. I mean, he went through a couple of his videos where he talked about, uh, what was it? He says, oh, he's just interested in finding out about other people and finding out about their values. And then he does this shit. I will note that nothing that is about to follow contradicts my statement to care about the values of the participants in the conversation. Now let's just talk about how, how much I pwned the skeptical heretic instead. Now, my recollection of that is that let's talk about something instead, you know? It's, it's, it's flash, it's, it's shock journalism. Except for it's not journalism, but it's... It's not like I went on and on and gloated about, oh, that I pwned you or whatever. Right. I mean, I believe I have argued my case pretty well, and you're still talking about other things like, oh, he claimed to pwn me, therefore I don't have to compare Thomas Drake's solution to uh, the Snowden solution. Don't have to. He said he pwned me. I might think up a funny name like, you know, Sp Hero Spooge. Come on. I mean, it's it's kind of a lame excuse, really, because I'm not claiming to be holier than thou. I'll say things that'll shock you even more, but who are you to to say that's a particularly big deal? You honestly don't think that you have a more informed than thou, and you don't think that video you just made to me isn't a holier than thou video. Point to where I said holier than thou applied to myself. You might have inferred that because I brought up values, but I never even said anything of the sort. I never said that I was going to come out on top. I never said there was a top. I say it's like chocolate versus vanilla, but it's a curious puzzle as to what different value between you and me might make me think that the releases of this information uh, are something we need. We, we need to stop this type of government. It should not be billions and billions and billions of dollars, especially in this situation or in any. In my view, what value, judgment of yours, brings you to a different conclusion. It can't just be the proper procedure thing because I believe in that. You need to go and get your feedback. The problem is you get the feedback and people don't change it and they just keep doing it and more and more. So it, it's still an open question whether I said, no, let's change the subject, talk about my ponage of the skeptical heretic. Because no, I'm not, this is not a media or medium where I am going to watch myself and everything I say and make sure that I keep on the right. I mean, I made a video where I'd had a bunch to drink going, I love you, man. Why? Well, for various reasons, actually. Because one, I don't actually think there's room for a, a legitimate or growed up animosity between people discussing or even arguing or even roasting each other about ideas at least we're talking about ideas and two because by that's already disclosed if I go on after a few drinks in Gary's tiny chat and try to change the subject by you know taking the extreme route of going let's talk about that you know Ask your fanboys for some context if you really care. But even if it was true, and even if I had gloated and gloated and gloated and blah, 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 it still doesn't change. I ask you to compare the Thomas Drake solution to the Snowden solution. And you're avoiding those questions. What happens to the next level of facts? Those are pertinent, those are pertinent questions. They're informative. Aren't you interested in getting the information out? It doesn't mean I'll be right. They're questions. And I've said that some of these things when we're talking about values come down to chocolate versus vanilla. Meaning ahead of time, your values are legitimized. Oh, it turns out that the skeptical heretic likes to eat dogs. 
Well, as far as I know, that's a cultural thing. That to me, I don't. But that's gross. If you want to eat dogs, go ahead, Skip. And that's just kind of funny. I mean, when you say specifically that you know you're not in it for the ponage, and then turn around to a little cadre of morons on a tiny chat and. Well, it's not exactly a cadre. It's not like it's not hostile to me. Um, it was a joke, Skep. You know, it's like ironic. Yeah, you could. Is my videos all about ponies? Whatever. If you want to take this as some sort of a gotcha, then just go back to Colin Skid Row, a cum stain, and you know, and you can take the high road. Uh, do you want to ever talk about the subject matter? I actually think that that could be productive and it should be fun and it can be a struggle of facts and opinions and, and the easy outs are, are not the fun part. Want to bring it up as though it's your accolade. Skip, could you just please remember you made several videos saying I was uninformed and I didn't believe in facts and so on and so forth. All right, I, I said, let's talk about values, and you assume that means, oh, your values are better. No, I like, I prefer mine, chocolate versus vanilla. I like mine, and you can like yours, right? You you call me uninformed several videos, and then, and then make one video where I'm a fun guy, and hi, Piro, and so, you, that's the high ground. I, I think I can go ahead and say whatever I want in a tiny chat. But to put some context around it. Big deal. You, you're just trying to escape the issue. Why? Kind of leave something to be desired in terms of your ethics, so to speak. I don't see how that's an ethical question at all. If I joke about having pwned you, it doesn't mean that I think this is all about ponage. That's why my videos haven't been about that. But you're calling me uninformed three videos in a row, and then you suddenly, oh, okay, you could, then I can characterize it that way. Hello, why don't you talk about the actual issue again? Why don't you pick apart my facts? Why don't you attack my values? Kebich has taken that... that road and that's productive when you want to take a moral high ground in an argument um, finding out where everybody's values are is not taken to be a moral high ground I reserve the right to ridicule the vow like I said having free speech will not to you but to Thunderfoot about Thunderfoot recently having free speech is also just the right to make an ass of yourself okay but I do want to find out where everybody stands, and I do believe it'll come down to chocolate versus vanilla, and I do believe that it's informative to see where those values are, and sometimes people are embarrassed of saying what they are, and that's all productive to look into, inquire about, shine light on, in my opinion. That's why I don't do that, because very often the uh, morals that people claim to have on the internet are a facade. This video seems like an attempt to claim the moral high ground back, I guess, from me. But, but I was not actually claiming that. I was actually saying the conversation should focus on values between you and me because I don't think I disagree with you on the facts. Isn't that just a practical, understandable position? How, how could that even be disingenuous? How could that not be productive of you for you, rather, to assume that that's the case and go forth with it and then show our values. How could that, how could there be an ulterior motive to that? If you just do it, even if there was an ulterior motive, then all the facts and values would get out there and it would, the ulterior motive would have to fail in comparison to getting the actual information out. You don't have to want to do that kind of thing. If you want to just go find people that you think have loose facts and point out better facts, fine. But I actually think it's important for our society and the adults within it to decide what we do next, right? What do we do next? Or as Piero puts it, his character. 
Um, I don't think that that reflects on my character. Just like I don't think you calling Skid Row Spooge reflects on your character. It's exactly the same. It doesn't reflect on your character. It reflects on your sense of humor, which for some people might, if not character, it might say, oh, well, I don't like people with that kind of sense of humor. But it doesn't really reflect on your character, like whether you're honest, whether you're, uh, you know, loyal to your friends, and whether you treat your mom right, or whatever other criteria you'd want to use, right? So, you know, it was a sense of humor, and to me, it seems in contrast to how I always talk, so I thought it would be funny, you know with a few, and you said it was funny actually, come to think of it. And yes, I know you meant funny peculiar, not funny haha, -ha, but still, I'm gonna go with the word just funny. Now your use of disingenuous, the word, I'll just be honest with you, it made me think that you were uh, possibly implying maybe I'm disingenuous, like you don't know, or maybe you think you know, or you, you know, you put it that way, and that's fine. I do things like that, you know, you put a word like that out there so people are thinking, don't be disingenuous. I'm not disingenuous, I'm just telling you that so you can calculate correctly, because I will, like, Put, you know, you say 20 words, then there's 2,000 implications, so, and I'm aware of a lot of those extra implications, but it's not disingenuous, like when I got drunk and I'm, I love you, man. Yeah, because I think for people to do this hobby to argue with each other, it's like two professional wrestlers taking their, you know, gripe with each other seriously, you know, fighting in the back, and it's like, dude, we're actors. It's like someone on a sitcom thinking their co-actor is the, actually the character they're acting with. It's ludicrous. Maybe I'm special in the fact that I'm not playing a character here. That's an interesting thing, uh, Skip, because think about it this way. Let's say you're a painter and you're painting a self-portrait to represent yourself to the rest of the world. And so you want to do it honestly. So how do you do that? First of all, are you good enough to do a photorealistic still life of yourself? No. So what does honest mean? Well, I'm making myself have giant muscles. Don't make them look as good. It's still not photorealistic. It takes a lot of skill to do a self-portrait. It is the same with film, right? And, you know, someone like Picasso wants to do, well, you should show all sides at once. So, you know, does that look normal? So is photorealistic even the most honest? Or no, because you still are choosing the lighting. You have to portray yourself. You have to choose how to present yourself. And this is with people all over the world on the internet. Right? So it then becomes people you don't know. You don't see it Thanksgiving. So there is a, a content. This is a hobby. Like people that go out and play pickup soccer game in the park. Right? You don't get confused and think the guy on the other team in the pickup game is some sort of vile enemy, in my opinion. Okay? So that's my point that if, you're, if your hobby is to go out and do intellectual wrestling in the park or you, got, or you do MMA fi style fighting, uh, you know, in the padded universe or you, you're doing some contest for fun with other people, you go down and find people to play tennis with, you don't get confused and think that person's really an enemy. That's my point we are talking about ideas and so we're on the same side us versus the people that would rather talk about Britney Spears or someone probably more contemporary this is the way I am warts and all so enjoy it well get the fuck out it's that simple in other words how sympathetic and and delicate do you honestly think I'm supposed to be? Or or I measure up with the average? Or with yourself, right? With yourself. I mean, Frank is a person too. You say things about him way worse than I've said about you. Okay, I just figured you could you could take tough talk and that that I don't mind you seeing that I said that about Ponage, right? We're supposed to be rising above it. That means we can laugh about that and now that you've stopped saying I don't care about facts or information.
All right, and we can now talk about the next level thing. But if you'd rather talk about if I pwned you, let's start by defining pwning. Speaking of getting the fuck out, looks like Franks is making a strategic redeployment to the rear.